it's finally here, so what, what, how do you feel about where your team's at as the season over approach? It's here. I feel good. You know, I think uh, there's been a lot of great work in, in all three phases. I think uh, kids have been locked in. They've really grinded through um, fall camp and uh, put a lot of good days together. A lot of new faces, and uh, it's been a lot of uh, on-the-job training, per se. But, uh, you know, I feel like uh, we're a lot further ahead than we've been in some years past, and I'm excited about this group. I'm just curious just about sort of the versatility and different formations you can go to on defense. you got some guys that seem Yeah, it just it gives you an opportunity to be a little bit more versatile, uh, you know, defensively, which is what you want to be. Um, going from anywhere from a four-man front and three-man front, mixing up your different blitz packages and coverages. Um, so that obviously helps, um, but uh, obviously you're going to have a base in what you do, and I think uh, some weeks that could change based upon uh, how and who you're facing. Uh, but uh, mm -hmm. Coach Bennett and that defensive staff's done a great job of uh, you know getting these guys in the right situations. I think our, our players are are really excited about it. You obviously put your depth chart out. So where are you at at quarterback? I know you know. Uh, I know that's a question we're always going to ask, and this is going to be the same question uh, as long as I'm here. Um, you know, uh, we have a really good idea of who's going to walk out there first, um, and so. Uh, but there's a reason why we put or it's still a competition, and both guys are going to play. Uh, I feel good about where those guys are at, um, but we, we we understand and have a good idea what we're going to do on on uh, Saturday. <laughs> I think it's uh, each week in its own. You know, I think uh, you got to respect every opponent and fear none. And uh, this is week one, um, so I know uh, Northwestern State. They're they're very well coached team. Uh, they're going to come in here and um, play extremely hard. I know they're going to be very excited about this opportunity and playing us. Um, and so, to me, it's all about going out there and and uh, putting a great week of preparation in and. Uh, it's it's a new year. It's game one, so you got to earn your respect. You got to earn everything you get, and so I'm more focused in on uh, execution uh, and playing well uh, than I am looking at a week ahead. You feel good in general about the progress of both the quarterbacks made over the course of the offseason. I feel good. Uh, again, both those guys have come a long way. I think if you've seen Ani, I think he's. Uh, much improved from last fall into the spring, now having a summer and a, a fall camp to work through. Um, I think he's uh, night and day, to be honest with you, and both those quarterbacks are. I think both quarterbacks are at a point right now um, and are better than we've had uh, uh, any time this past season. So I feel good about where we're at, but again, that, it's it's been practice, um, you know, going against uh, uh, really the same defense week in and week out. Um, and so you kind of start to expect and know what you're going to get. Um, so, it, you know, it's, it's going to be different on Saturday. Bullets are going to be flying from different areas. You know, you got the added pressure of a game day. Um, and it's all kind of how guys react, um, you know, throughout a game and throughout the season. So I feel good about where we're at. But, you know, just as in any position, uh, you never know 100%. Uh, what's going to happen until every, uh, all the bull bullets start flying and, and you're in different situations and adversity hits and how you overcome it as a team because it's going to. Um, and so I feel like we have a mature football team that uh, has handled adversity uh, very well uh, through fall camp. Uh, but again, uh, fall camp's different than uh, the season and game day. What are you watching out for when it comes to Northwestern State? Any specific players or facets of their team? I think they have a ton of great players on all three phases. Um, you know, uh, they're an explosive team. Um, you know, very multiple on defense. Show you a lot of different coverages, fronts, pressures. Offensively, uh, they spread you out and, and gain matchups. Uh, you know, with uh, uh, their athletic playmakers, and they're very solid on special teams. Um, they're a very, very sound team, and so. Uh, you know, they're going to come in here, and I know they, they feel like they have nothing to lose. They're going to come in here and, and uh, you know, be excited and, and play a heck of a game. It's our job to make sure we focus in on doing our jobs and making sure we execute the best we can and, and uh, control what we can control. But, uh, you know, in a game like this, you got to be prepared for everything, especially game one. So uh, you got to be completely focused 
uh, you know, in the game uh, of, of all the different situations, um, fakes, uh, onsides. Uh, you you got to be be prepared for all different scenarios, and so uh, that's something we've stressed and worked on. And uh, now you got to go out and execute that. Well, they played the spring as well, so they, mm -hmm. they've had a little action here recently. Mm -hmm. you think that gives them maybe a bit of a you know, we'll see. I've never, it's been one of those things that we've never really seen. And so uh, it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, with kind of their spring schedule uh, and then them having a break and then coming back in the summer. Uh, you know, I have a feeling that uh, when it's all said and done, um, you know, football's football. Once the season's over, you're going to give some time off. Uh, maybe, may not be as much time as you've had. Um, you know, maybe in the off season of January, but again, you're jumping right into off season workout, spring ball. I'm sure they had some type of schedule like that as well, and so a lot of new faces for them too. So um, we'll see how that kind of works out. Um, you can't control any of that. I focus in on the things that we can control, and that's making sure that, uh, that we're prepared the right way. And um, you know, we we focus in on doing our job uh, each and every snap throughout that game. So after a COVID affected season last season, how are you and the players responding? Tell me how much that means to y'all. Uh, it means a ton. I mean, obviously, uh, we've got a great atmosphere here at Apogee Stadium uh, along with our student alumni fans. Um, they have been uh, tremendous here since uh, my time here. Uh, and we're really excited to, to get the place rocking. And we feed off that energy, there's no doubt. Um, and so, yeah, it, it's going to be really exciting to see uh, kind of an open, uh, a big old crowd out there. And, and I know our guys are looking forward to going out there and competing in front of those guys. Uh, I feel really good. I mean, if you think about it, I think over 50 of our guys are considered still freshmen, uh, whether it's red shirt, uh, whether you gained a year through COVID or, or true freshmen. And so we, we have a young football team, but uh, we have a young football team. And a lot of these guys, though, have, have taken a lot of snaps this past year um, for a lot of different reasons, but, you know, gained some experience, which will hopefully uh, help uh, them this fall. Um, and we have some new faces, which, again, uh, I'm very excited about this class we brought in, uh, freshmen, uh, transfers, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, I think uh, we hit on a lot of these guys, and they're doing a lot of great things. So it, it's exciting for me I, I'm, and our coaching staff. I'm really excited to go out there and watch these guys compete and see exactly kind of where you're at, what you have, um, you know, and, and what you still need to continue to work on. There's always going to be uh, things after game one uh, that you're going to have to continue to improve on. You, you, you have a pretty good understanding of what your strengths and weaknesses are as a program. Um, and then it's always exciting to see kind of the jump from week one to two to three uh, and kind of building throughout the year. So uh, we obviously this is game one. We have a lot of long way to go, but uh, we're excited for the opportunity to go out there and compete on Saturday for sure. Well, Rebecca and Blair both made the, the two deep. Mm -hmm. Did those guys perform particularly well? Again, two new faces, right? Um, and so we're excited about both those guys. I think they both have a really bright future, and there's a reason why it's or. Um, a guy's going to, you know, I think too much gets put in, especially early on, about who's starting, who's not. Um, you know, when it says or, uh, you could start either one of those guys. Um, and I think uh, you're going to see both those guys. Uh, we expect them, uh, you know, to play at a high level. Um, excited to see them out there. And, uh, there's no doubt they have uh, they have added uh, you know to our roster in a, in a good way. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing those guys out there competing for sure. Well, and just in general, looking at this Northwestern State game, what are you really hoping and expecting to see out of your guys to just make you feel good going forward? Uh, just a lot of you know, I want to see the energy uh, that they bring the game to. I know. Uh, especially week one, game one. Um, it's always 70 sunny in the sense of everybody's excited to play football again. Everybody's excited to get out there. Um, but when it's all said and done, uh, once the whistle blows and you kick the ball off, now you're in that game mode. How well do we execute? Uh, how disciplined are we? Uh, situational football, are you prepared? Are you uh, focused in on those little details of each situation? Um, and it won't be perfect early, it never is, um, but I, I Definitely feel like uh, you know this is a team that's mature enough to understand the different situations and um, understanding that uh, you know everybody has a job to do. Uh, if you're on that sideline, whether you're a starter or a backup, uh, special teams, 
and some of these guys may not take a snap. Uh, they have a job to do too, uh, and that's bringing the energy and making sure there's a positive vibe on the sideline, uh, helping us overcome adversity. Uh, adversity is a big one you see early on, especially uh, throughout the season. Uh, how well does your team respond to that? Those are all the things that you're looking for as a head coach. Those are, those are things as a head coach you lose sleep over at night, uh, understanding going in the first game. How, how is our team going to react? And, but at the same time, you got to trust uh, the process that we've laid down. Uh, you got to trust your players and, and your coaches uh, and understand we've prepared for that. We've put them in situations that weren't ideal. We've put them in uh, hard situations to where they've had opportunities to be undisciplined. Um, and so, uh, you know, I feel good about where we're at. Uh, but again, uh, once that whistle blows, sometimes, you know, early in the year, it's not going to be perfect. And uh, I'm just wanting to see a clean football game. I want to see us go out and execute and play as hard as we can and attack. And uh, that's all we're looking for. We talked a lot in the offseason about the challenges of this schedule. Is it important when you have an FCS game to start the season to really capitalize and get off to a I, I, I can I can see why you would think that way, and that's not a knock. Um, to be honest with you, if I, if I try to look at you know the first five, six, seven games, if I really try to focus in on that, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't go very far, and neither would our staff or players. And so, you really got to focus in on, on first and foremost just winning that day of practice, and and how are we getting better as a team. Um, and then once you get to game week, it, it's one week at a time. It truly is. It's a cliche, but it's. To me, it's the only way you can truly have the success you want to. Um, you can't ever look forward. Um, and at the same time, you can't really look back either. You can learn from opportunities uh, from previous games, um, but it, there are learning experiences. Uh, eventually, you got to put those to bed and, and move forward. And so um, to me, I'm all about the present. I'm all about uh, focusing in on uh, this Tuesday practice. How well did we get through it? And then tighten the screws each and every day we get through the week. and then. You know, Sunday or excuse me, Saturday is a day to where everything should be tightened up. It's a day. It's a day to be confident, go out, attack, uh, and you know, have a lot of fun. And uh, you know, I think again, it, it has started the right way. We just got to continue it, and it, it doesn't matter uh, each and every week, whatever happens. Uh, <laughs> you got to do the same thing the next week in order to have that success. So I, I try to focus in on truly one day, one game at a time, and. Uh, focusing on that opponent, uh, knowledge is power, making sure you understand everything there is to know about your opponent and how they're trying to attack you and what they're all about. And so that's what we're trying to get accomplished this week. How did you decide on your captains for the season? Uh, well, a lot of it comes to our, our players. I mean, those guys have earned the opportunity uh, to be team captains. There's a reason why they are. They, they're great teammates. I don't think you can have a great leader without first and foremost being a great leader. Um, and you know, it's they're the top leaders on our team, uh, and they're voted by their peers, and uh, and coaches. And so um, they've they've deserved that role. Uh, I think we got a great group. I'm really excited about that group. And like I told our guys, um, not only th those five captains, uh, but there's a lot of other guys on this football team that are great great team leaders. And so uh, they got to continue to uh, stay in that role and support one another. And continuing to build these younger men up and to being from great teammates to great leaders as well. You got to always continue to, to build that leadership of the team. And I think that's where your culture comes in and, and takes over. There's one specific guy I wanted to ask you about on Northwestern State. Uh, Scooter Adams at running back for them. Just what kind of a big play guy have you seen him to be? And I mean, how do you expect to be able to try and slow him down? Well, he's obviously a, a great football player. Um, they do a great job offensively overall. And, uh, you know, I think they mix it up very well. Um, they, they distribute the ball and get the ball to a lot of different playmakers. And so um, they force you to, to, to stress the field, and, and they, they force you to be honest in what you do. And so um, obviously he's a tremendous player, um, you know, and I think the biggest thing that we have to do is make sure we're sound in what we do. Uh, and guys have to go out there and execute, uh, you know, the, the defenses that are called. There's always going to be strengths and weaknesses. Uh, everybody on the field has a job to do, understanding where their leverage is at, uh, understanding um, where your help is. Uh, early on in the season, especially, you see it across the country, we got to tackle well. Um, we got to get the ball carriers to the ground. And so, uh, to me, it's more of the focus on doing your job within uh, our scheme and what we're, we're calling and making sure that uh, we tackle well. Have your quarterbacks kind of seen the confidence build among your teammates? Do you feel like your players have confidence in the, the quarterbacks? That's going our players have full confidence in our quarterbacks. No worries. So because Northwestern State is in Louisiana, was there any talks this week about if 
their the status of the game kind of like how affected they were by the hurricane? No, I don't. I don't. There hasn't been, to my knowledge. Um, you know, obviously uh, our prayers grow up. Uh, you know, obviously the state of Louisiana and, and across that um, southeastern, all those states and border towns hit. So our prayers go out to them. I know that's a, a very difficult time, uh, especially. Um, you know, you, you think about the coaches and players, uh, they're preparing for games, but they also have family members, uh, you know, friends, uh, whatever the case may be, acquaintances, uh, you know, that are, that are having a tough time. And so that's never easy. Uh, it's always a challenge, and uh, our prayers are always out to them. There, there's no doubt. Um, and so, but other than the game itself, uh, nothing's been brought to my attention. I feel like uh, everything's on point.